Hello everyone, today we are going to look at the uh, three uh, watercolors of the Primatech range of Daniel Smith. So the first one is Kyanite and this is the stone. This is uh, a low grade uh, in another color and uh, usually it can come in this color or this color. And uh, also I saw in one of the YouTube channels that uh, a person's watch from different uh, dot cards of Daniel Smith and uh, one was with this color and one was with that color and it could be it's very so um, I think it's okay second uh, um, primate color uh, I would like to show you is the sodalite genuine and it's a, bl a blue stone it's a more a warm blue stone and the color can vary between uh, this kind of blue to a very very dark blue almost black the third color we will talk about is a uh, blue appetite genuine uh, i have this stone which is quite a high grade uh, stone it's very transparent and it's with a lot of uh, color uh, usually you will find the uh, blue appetites exactly like the color uh, of this uh, um, watercolor it will be darker so yeah they're quite um, uh, the same so uh, let's watch them so the first color will be will swatch is the kinite genuine can see how dark it can be and because the gemstone have uh, some mica in it we'll show it in a minute it has the, this, uh, this sub, subtle um, shininess or sheen Let's take, take it to the dark text point. So you can see how dark it can be. And you can see here, that's also the mica. It's like uh, there are some layers of mica and uh, another mineral together. And that uh, what makes this stone uh, very shiny. So the color has that too. Next color we look at is the uh, sodalite genuine, which is also very deep, very dark, as you can see here. And it's a uh, one of my uh, most uh, used color. I like it a lot. I use it uh, in color mixing and also um, to create um, a moody sky. The last color would be blue appetite genuine. which could be also very, very dark in its mouth tone and very muted uh, in this undertone. All the three of them are very uh, granulating and I will show it later. I know that uh, I portrayed these uh, colors in my uh, paints gray uh, similar colors, but I wanted to give them more attention because I did uh, this painting 
which uh, is uh, with a kite night genuine and with other colors and I wanted to give it uh, more place because I see that many people uh, are afraid to use iridescent colors and kite night is one of them and in this uh, painting I put some of them but uh, very very gently and I also liked uh, it mixes uh, with uh, transparent pyrrole orange and uh, with the pyrrole crimson. Here are these colors when they are dry, kind of genuine, sodola genuine, and blue apeta genuine. Let's play with the light so you can see the sheen the recency of this color it's very very subtle it's nice it's very good for um, a dark uh, night sky with uh, some uh, stars and for a dragon like i uh, put it before uh, we move to the color mixing uh, portion i wanted to show you a few things so um, let's play with it, with these colors, uh, with sky. So we'll do some, a bit of wet on wet. And let's start with kind of genuine. And you can see, we can create really interesting stars with it and sky. We'll put some more. So we'll see how dark it can get. And it can be really, really beautiful. Next color, we'll uh, do this with is the Sodalite Genuine. We may uh, also spray some water. You can see how moody it can get. And the last color will be the Blue Appetite Genuine. I forgot to put some water. And I think we'll put a sprit of water. So it can do a really moody and interesting uh, sky. Another thing that I wanted to show you is uh, mixes uh, with the soda light for uh, three trunks. Put some more color. This is with uh, Daniel Smith of Van Dyke uh, Brown with uh, some um, hematite burnt scarlet and uh, with sodolite. It's uh, the less granulating mix. Now we look at the more granulating mix that I use the most in my painting. And this one is with uh, Sodolite Genuine, uh, Bloodstone Genuine, and with um, um, Queen Burn Scarlet. And this one is very granulating also because of the Bloodstone Genuine. There's three granulating colors here. The last one will be with a transparent uh, brown oxide, sodalite genuine, 
המטייט ויולט and some blood stone genuine and it's also really granulating as you can see it's it could be very good for uh, other things like uh, earth and thing like that I'll put more water so you'll see the granulation So let's uh, move now um, to the color mixing. So I, as you can see, I did uh, a lot of uh, color mixing with many colors. So we, we will start with uh, buff titanium. It will be always a first the kyanite, then the sodalite, and then the green appetite genuine. So you can see the beautiful mixes. I really love the kinate mix and uh, the blue appetite mix uh, with uh, PW6 column 1 or buff titanium. Next we look at these colors with brutal yellow. I really love these mixes. All three mixes with kinate, sodalite and green appetite are really amazing and beautiful. They are between uh, yellow, green, uh, grays and uh, blues and I really love them. Also did a color mixing with the Hansa Yellow Deep PY65 and it's a, a nice uh, mix but um, I don't know how useful it will be for me. Next, we look at these uh, colors with the uh, PY150. You can see how beautiful are the mixes. Kyanite, Sodalite and Blue Appetite. And I think they will be very useful for me. This one I will maybe put also on a dragon. And I think it could be interesting to play uh, with these colors like... Uh, like a down dawn uh, painting first thing in the morning and to see how uh, it goes and of course to mix some uh, greens next uh, is with a transparent parallel orange a po71 it's a color that i wasn't sure about uh, for a long time and now i really like it i use it a lot in uh, the dragon uh, painting that I did uh, a few days ago and I really love um, the way it neutralizes uh, the sodalite and uh, the blue appetite and I really love its combination its magical combination with the kind of genuine I think this combination I will use a lot and I also use it it in the painting Next will be a um, Perlin Red PR178 with these colors and I love all the mixes, they're very magical, they're very beautiful. I don't know yet how I will use it, maybe I will uh, walk uh, on a red dragon or crimson dragon and we'll put these uh, colors together, you can see it creates really a twilight uh, colors with bl blue appetite genuine and really interesting colors with the uh, kyanite genuine next we look at the uh, queen rose pv19 with uh, these colors i like all these mixes most i like the kyanite genuine kyanite genuine really works really great with magentas and cool reds it's really magical together and I also like the sodalite and the blue appetite with it. Next we look at a Fate Law Blue Red Shade PB15 Column 6 with these colors. I really love all these combinations. I think it's a great mixing uh, with this color. 
next uh, these colors with um, cerulean blue chromium pb36 i really love them they are very beautiful they look a little bit redder than here in these uh, um, swatches in the, with this uh, camera or, or this light then uh, they look um, in reality they are more uh, cool like a uh, greener but they are very very beautiful i really love them next we look at uh, these colors with uh, pg50 cobalt teal blue of daniel smith i use this combination in my uh, dragon uh, painting and i love it and I also love uh, the other mixes with sodalite and green appetite. I think uh, they work uh, together really great. There is an issue for me with uh, cobalt teal blue, the PG50 of Daniel Smith, that is very, very granulating. And sometimes the colors to separate too much. And here I think it's really not showing. It's really a great combination. And I also think with the blue appetite, it's really really great combination next is the uh, yellow ochre uh, py43 of daniel smith um, I, I love this combination it will be great for um, some uh, landscape paintings like deserts and other areas um, it's really great and uh, yeah i think i will use all these uh, combinations together i think it will be interesting to create with kyanite and yellow ochre and other colors uh, some uh, night uh, uh, landscape in the desert i think it will be beautiful next is uh, these colors uh, with um front, with burnt sienna with Daniel Smith, Bert Sienna, PBR7. I like these mixes, but less than the other mixes that we had here. Next is uh, these uh, mixes with uh, Piemont and Genuine, another beautiful Primatec uh, color of Daniel Smith. I really love uh, the combination with uh, the Kyanite but also with the blue appetite less with the sodalite although i think the sodalite will neutralize uh, this color the best next this color with burnt amber uh, with uh, kind of genuine and with sodalite genuine it can uh, neutralize them to a quick black um, with blue appetite uh, it creates also very very uh, beautiful colors and also almost neutralizes very beautiful i like this combination a lot this uh, half pan of burnt amber was uh, jumping to me in my face uh, to try it with these colors so i'm very happy i tried them together so here is with kyanite sodalite and blue appetite last color i tried is the uh, aztec gold uh, i like it a lot it's a uh, red gold uh, of daniel smith and i like i just put some uh, dots of it uh, in these uh, colors and i really love uh, the way they mixed you can see with the kyanite because the both uh, colors with the uh, mica i think the more dense so it was harder for the Aztec gold um, to flow and it's very beautiful together I really like this way of painting uh, with the uh, iridescent uh, colors like putting dots inside another color with the soda lights it's really a great combination here it uh, combined um, to an earth stone with uh, these colors and uh, it reminds me here a little bit of uh, Lunar Earth of Daniel Smith P uh, PBR 11 and I like also the combination here 
it's a good uh, combination and the last and least with a uh, blue appetite genuine really love this combination really love uh, these colors together so let's look at all of them together Okay, well, I can't uh, focus it, I don't know why. If there will still be a problem, I will post some uh, photos of it. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it was interesting for you. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, looking how uh, to create kyanite, which is a kind of iridescent uh, color in a paint painting, helped. I will show it one more time. Because I also put some Aztec gold here and uh, it worked qu quite well. And I don't know if you can see the shine of the kyanite here. Yeah. It's really beautiful. So thank you for watching and uh, have a wonderful time. Bye.